Hey Audacious Church, welcome back to day three of Finding Freedom as part of our Pathway series. My name is Rafaro, as you know, I'm part of our Manchester campus team. And without further ado, let's continue. So yesterday we started off by acknowledging that, you know, Christ has set us free, but we don't always live in it. Because if I'm free, why do I struggle? Why do I not feel free? Why do I still think a certain way? Why do I still do certain things? Why do I struggle with habits, patterns of behavior, and my thinking life? Well, let's go back to the word of God. Galatians 5, 3 says that it was for freedom that Christ set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourself be burdened by the yoke of slavery. Ah, oh, again, why do we not feel that freedom? So today I really wanna, I wanna look at the roots. Yesterday we started off by inviting the Holy Spirit to help us acknowledge that, you know, there is a difference between being free and living in freedom. But today we want to ask, answer the question of why that is. What, where is the disparity? And my proposition to you is it's potentially what we are rooted in. So I want to use the analogy of a tree. A tree has roots planted in some soil. It has a trunk. And then it has branches that lead to the fruit at the end. So I'd love for you to hold that image in your head uh, as we look at today's key scripture, which comes from Ephesians 3, 16 to 19. So if you read along with me, it says that I pray that of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with the power through his Holy Spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts. Come on, amen. And I pray that being rooted and established in love, that you may have the power together with all of God's holy people to grasp, grasp just how wide, how long, how high and how deep the love of Christ is. And to know that love that surpasses knowledge and that you may be filled with the measure of all fullness of God. What a word, hey? Uh, do take a minute this morning just to kind of like really break that down because that, that's, that's a juicy and meaty piece of scripture. Sorry, vegetarians. Um, but really get into it because there's, there's a whole lot in there. But like I said at the beginning, I wanted to follow this analogy of a tree. And let's start off by the roots, as, you know, plants themselves do. Um, that what you're rooted in has power. What you're rooted in is what kind of establishes you or sets the precedence or creates the environment for your growth. And the roots that you know, may go undetected or unresolved and not addressed by the circumstances that they're in will, read, will lead to a tree growing that produces fruit, which we'll tap out in a second, but maybe not the fruit that we want it to. So the soil represents the circumstances. And if you are rooted in you know, a situation or a circumstance that isn't favorable to the person who God says you are, this free person, then it's no, it's no mistake that the fruit that we later produce is of the circumstance that we're rooted in. See, if the, root, if the soil record represents our circumstance, the trunk of the tree, which is, I guess, the, where the, the strength of the tree is, is the thoughts and beliefs. And if you're rooted in negativity, your thoughts and beliefs might potentially also be negative. In fact, not potentially, will be negativity. And therefore, when you follow it around and you follow to the fruit, which is behaviors and habits, it's going to be of negativity. The Bible often says that, you know, uh, a good tree is known by its fruit and a bad tree is known by its, its fruit. And a good tree cannot produce bad fruit and a bad fruit, bad tree cannot produce good fruit. But I want to propose that it actually starts at the root. What you are rooted in determines the fruit that you produce. And I want to propose that if you are to glean from Ephesians uh, 16, sorry, 17, Ephesians 3, 17, it says, I pray. It's almost like um, Paul, who writes this epistle, is, is begging you. He's, he's uh, uh, imploring you. I beg you. I pray that you being rooted and established in love may know the power, may experience the power that God has for all his holy people. And that's what I want to propose today, that let us uproot ourselves from maybe the situations and circumstances that you've been in and plant ourselves in love, in God's love more than that, that you'll be rooted and established in love. And as we continue to know God, as we continue to find freedom, the fruit that we produce will be the fruit of love. How exciting is that? That, that's it for today. I pray that God's love finds you wherever you are today and that you have the strength to, you know, you know, look at the soil that you're in and like, hey, let's, 
let's potentially uproot some of this stuff. Let's potentially invite somebody into the circuit conversations. Like, hey, I need, I'm stuck in something that I need you to pull me out of, plant me in some new soil, which is the love of God. God bless you, church. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you tomorrow for day four of Finding Freedom.